Hello and good morning, late afternoon from New Orleans. So welcome to the cemetery district, or as they just call it, cemeteries. And the reason they call it cemeteries is because there are about 10 different cemeteries right in this area. Right here is the Mortuary Haunted Mansion. And it says they have escape rooms. You can have special events here. So it's a little fun place. Across the street is the Hope Mausoleum. That is a private mausoleum cemetery. And only, there's no tours. You can't go walking around in it. It is uh, private and they get, from what I've heard from, read from Google reviews, they get upset if tourists try to go roaming through their mausoleum. So, not there. And now, right here, we have yet another cemetery. And this one is a Jewish cemetery. This is a private cemetery as well. Um, <clears throat> it's not open to the public. Like the gates aren't open, but on the sign, the name of the cemetery is Chevra Philim Cemetery. Uh, it says they're open, but you have to call to get a number for access and they'll probably want to know why, you know, your purpose. Because it's not a tourist cemetery, but it's just right on the street. So there are two cemeteries already, just right here. And that's not all. There is a trolley, a streetcar that comes directly to all these cemeteries. And there are cafes, CBD, CBD dispensaries, there's a gym. And then, if you're looking forward, here's another cemetery. The one that we're coming up on is called St. Patrick's Number Two Cemetery. I believe that's a cemetery guide. And this is St. Patrick's number one. You can go in here. I took a bunch of photos in here yesterday. And across the street is St. Patrick's number two cemetery. And if you go through St. Patrick's, Patrick's number two and go to the other side, you come along to St. Patrick's number three. And so, these cemeteries aren't really all that big. So, you know, it's really, you know, I went to all three of them in like an hour and a half. Two hours or so yesterday. See, St. Patrick's number one. St. Patrick's number two. There's the uh, trolley. And it, it goes, the name of the trolley is Canal because there's Canal Street that we're on right now. Uh, canal uh, slash cemeteries because it goes to cemeteries. And yeah, so it goes back a little ways, but as you can see, it's already, it's already, uh, the width is, we're already done. I missed it, but there's another cemetery behind us that is, uh, that's another Jewish cemetery. I'm gonna see in a little bit if I can go visit that one. Right here, as you can see, is, as you can see here, this is the New Orleans Katrina Memorial. So this is from Hurricane Katrina. This is the memorial for Hurricane Katrina. And it's back there. I took a bunch of pictures already. Um, 
Eh, no one's here. Let's go, we'll, we'll go take a quick walk through. This is a very unforgotten, because there aren't like a bunch of graves and everything. I mean, they're all buried underground, which is a strange thing for New Orleans because everything is buried above ground because of flooding. But all these are buried underground. And here is the memorial. And the people that are buried here, because it is a cemetery and there are people that are buried here, are the people who um, were unidentified from the uh, from the hurricane. So all the people that died uh, from the hurricane that were not picked up by their loved ones or identified at all, they got buried here. And so that's who's buried here. And there is another set of people that are buried here as well. Or, I don't know if they're buried here, but there's a memorial for them. And you see, it's, uh, you know, there's another cemetery right there, right next door. But the ones that are, that th there's another memorial here is for who have donated their body to science. So I don't know if these people are buried here or not, or when their um, their bodies were finished and they did all the scientific research that they, you know, just got rid of them and returned them to their families or buried them here. I don't know. But yeah, this is a very forgotten cemetery. It's, uh, you know, I think it's a rather important one as well. I mean, you know, yeah, there isn't a lot of headstones and, and beautiful, you know, beautiful sculptures. But, you know, the point is that, you know, it's, it's very, it's a very important one. It's all these people who died in the hurricane. So I'm glad they have this. To my right, there's a bunch of cars. But to the right, there's the Odd Fellows Cemetery. That is closed for repairs right now. So you can't go in there. And we are coming up on yet another cemetery. You can see one in the in the in the distance there. There's Greenwood Cemetery. And that's a firemen's association charity cemetery. So like there's beautiful there's a beautiful uh, spire with a fireman's statue. Um, there's a nice fountain with the firemen. And that's the Elks. But here's Cypress Grove Cemetery as well. So as you can see, there are so many cemeteries. And if you go on the other side of the freeway, there's another cemetery. So they're all over the place. I don't want to go inside the cemeteries. I already took pictures of all these places, but I thought I'd just give you a quick view of the cemetery district of New Orleans. Peace.